So Google has released the final beta of Android 13. So let's see how to install it on our device. So let's get started. So currently I'm on the Android 12 custom ROM called the Havoc OS and I will be installing the GSI on this one. So we need the treble check app. All the links and instructions will be in the description. So you need to make sure it passes the first two tests. And then we will need the DSU sideloader app which we will use to dual boot. Uh, in the preferences you can choose the installation method. I have chosen the root method. I have already made a video about the wireless ADB and also the computer ADB. You can check that out. And you can also set the custom partition. So finally we will choose the GSI ROM. So I have downloaded the, the Pixel 5 Android 13 GSI. It works for me so you can choose Pixel 6 as well if that if this does not work for you. So now we can start the installation and as I have said it is the root method but you can also do it by the PC or through a wireless ADB application. And it's going to take a lot of time and finally we need to authenticate the installation with our fingerprint or password. In the notification you can see the installation progress. The installation is also going to take a lot of time so leave your device aside and after a while you will see the option to restart. Restarting will boot our device into the Android 13 GSI. Your device might restart a couple of times but finally we will have this setup screen. So I'm going to fast forward the setup process. So after the setup, you can see the Android version, it says Android 13 and if you move the hour hand on the 1 pm, you can see it shows the Android 13 easter egg. We've seen it from the last beta as well. Coming to the settings, we have the usual uh, similar settings, nothing new here. We do see the GSI specific settings. You can change that if your calls are not working. Okay, it shows the storage space. Battery, we have some new option for adaptive charging. We have a lot of options for accessibility. We can dim even more than the lowest brightness. Okay, we have some audio adjustment. And security fingerprint is called as pixel imprint and in security we have the encryption option and you can see this says pixel 5 in about phone very smooth and I've also seen Android 13 on the pixel 6 and pixel 4 a makes it really smooth so I think Google has done a lot of optimization in Android 13 we see okay this is a new widget so right now it's showing only my device battery but if you have a couple of more bluetooth devices connected it will show their battery respect respectively and they are the clock widgets they should have also added a weather widget that would have looked very nice it's quite smooth This is the lock screen. Previously when I used to click on the media, it used to take a second before loading up. So that was it for this video. I hope you like this and I'll see you in the next one.